if I can just get you to dangle your arm down by the edge of the bed, clench your fist a few times, I'm just going to get your veins to stand out a bit. That's good and you can relax. So as we're looking at the veins, so often the best spot is the dorsal venous network of the hand, so there's a couple of nice veins here. Otherwise you've got the cephalic vein on the medial aspect of the wrist, some running up the anterior forearm. You'll see some on the um, forearm on this side just here. I'd avoid staying away from the wrist on this side because it's quite painful and the veins are quite small. And likewise on the wrist on this side here, you generally don't want to go putting a cannula over any creases or any joints because it's quite uncomfortable for the patient. And it also means that the, um, the cannula is more likely to kink. Other than that, you've got the antecubital fossa, a couple of nice veins there. But once again, try not to put it over a, um, a joint or a crease and the antecubital fossa also has a higher risk of infection as well. So we'll try to stay away from there where possible. So just having a look at the hand there, I think you've got a couple of nice veins. So what we will do is I'm just going to swab that area, make sure it's nice and clean. So what I'm going to do is place some local anaesthetic just next to the vein. So we'll use this vein just here. So I'm just going to place the um, brown needle right next to the vein. So one, two, three. That's good. Just stabilise that. And then the aim is just to place a little bleb of local anaesthetic just next to the vein subcutaneously, just to anaesthetise that area there. I'd recommend giving that around about 30 seconds to a minute so it works appropriately. Swap that area again, make sure it's nice and clean. Clench your fist a few times. Mm -hmm. So I just stabilise the skin kind of just like that. So you're stabilising the vein as well and just flex the wrist a little bit. And I'm just going to place my cannula in where the local anaesthetic is, in the area that I've swabbed, being careful not to touch the same area again. So coming in at about a 20 or a 30 degree angle. And sometimes it just requires a bit of repositioning. So there's some flashback there. And advancing the cannula. And then I'm going to release the tourniquet so it doesn't bleed back too far. Place my finger proximal to where the catheter inside the vein is. Remove the sharp. And I'll place that in the sharps container. And then just place the bung on the end of the cannula. And then we'll just place a tagoderm over the top so it's nice and secure. And sometimes in patients that have um, some hair on the arms and the forearms here, you might need to use some tagoderm um, or some other tape just to make sure that it sticks down nicely. And I'll just put some more on there. That's good. Just place a little bit of normal saline in the drip now just to make sure that it's flushing well. Mm -hmm. And you feel a bit of a cool sensation going up. And there's not any signs of subcutaneous um, edema there, which might suggest that the drip is tissued. Great. Thank you very much.